Hey everyone, in maths we are sometimes faced with fractions that look like these ones. What do you notice? We notice that the denominator has a third. So in fact it's an irrational number. We like to write it in a way where the actual denominator is rational. This process is called rationalizing. Rationalizing the denominator. So in maths when we are faced with a fraction that has a third as a denominator, we like to rationalize the denominator by making it into a rational number. How do we do that? I'm going to show you today how it's done. Looking at the first one, the question says rationalize the denominator. So how do we do that? Simple. We multiply by root 2 over root 2. So in fact, we're actually multiplying by one whole. Root 2 over root 2 is one whole. It's just a process that we do to rationalize the denominator, to keep it and make sure the denominator is rational. So root 2, where did we get it from? It's the actual third. It's the actual third in the denominator. So root 2 times root 2 and 3 times root 2. So our answer, 3 times root 2 is 3 root 2 and root 2 times root 2 is actually 2. We have now rationalized the denominator. It's that simple. This answer is exactly the same as 3 over root 2, but it's written in a way where the denominator is a rational number. Rationalizing the denominator. Let's do, let's do the next one. Root 6 divided by root 7. Again, the denominator is a third, we want to make it into a rational number. We multiply by the actual denominator by the third, root 7 over root 7. Now let's do it. Root 6 times root 7, root 42, and root 7 times root 7 is simply 7. We have rationalized the denominator. The next two. 3 root 7 over root 5. Again, the third is in the denominator. It's an irrational fraction. We would like to make it rational. So times by root 5 over root 5. So we're multiplying by the third in the denominator. 3 root 7 times root 5 is 3 root 35. And root 5 times root 5 is just that's our answer. Next one, 5 over 4 root 2. Same problem, we have a third in our denominator. So we multiply by the third. Remember, we are only multiplying by the third. So we're multiplying by root 2. We're multiplying by the third only. So 5 times root 2 is 5 root 2 and 4 root 2 times root 2, root 2 times root 2 is 2, 2 times the 4 is 8. So our answer is simply 5 root 2 over 8. We have made sure that denominator is all a rational number. If you put it in your calculator, root 42 over root 7, it's exactly the same value as root 6 over root 7, but it's written in a rational denominator. Rational denominator, rational denominator, and rational de denominator, it will always work. So remember to always rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the third in the denominator. Very easy. Let's do two more examples. Our last two examples. Once again, we are asked to rationalize the denominator. Root 5 plus root 3 over 3 root 7. We have an irrational denominator. We want to rationalize it. We multiply by what? We multiply by the third in the denominator. Root 7, root 7 over root 7. So now we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. Root 5 times root 7 is root 35 plus root 3 times root 7 is root 21. Now we finish and we complete the denominators. 
root 7 times root 7 is 7. 7 times a 3 is 21. We have rationalized the denominator. The denominator is a rational number. Let's do the next one. 2 root 11 plus 4 all over 2 root 6. Rationalizing the denominator, we are multiplying by the third in the denominator. So 2 root 11 times root 6 is 2 root 66. 4 times root 6 is 4 root 6. Over root 6 times root 6 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So our answer is 2 root 66 plus 4 root 6 over 12. Have we rationalized the denominator? Yes, we did. Our denominator is 12. Once again, if you put this in your calculator, it will have the same value as the answer, but we like to write it in a rational denominator. It's easier to understand, and this is how we write it in maths. So rationalizing denominator, we are basically multiplying the whole fraction by the third in the denominator. Easy and very important. Whenever you see rationalize, you remember this process.